Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel where we break down legal issues in Singapore to help you navigate the law with confidence. Today we'll be discussing how you can file a claim against your landlord at the Small Claims Tribunal if he refuses to return your rental deposit. Uh, renting a property comes with its own set of challenges, especially when it comes to getting your deposit back. If your landlord uh, is refusing to return your deposit, the Small Claims Tribunal is a cost-effective and efficient way to resolve such disputes. The Small Claims Tribunal in Singapore handles disputes uh, involving amounts of up to 20,000 Singapore dollars or 30,000 Singapore dollars only if both parties agree in writing. The jurisdiction of the Small Claims Tribunal covers a variety of uh, cases, uh, including disputes over tenancy deposits. Uh, the process is designed to be quite straightforward and accessible without the need to engage lawyers. Before you file a claim, you should gather evidence uh, for your claim and uh, this will include uh, the tenancy agreement, receipts or bank statements showing that you've made the deposit payment. Uh, also include uh, correspondence with the landlord such as emails, WhatsApp messages, photos, videos of the of the property or premises uh, or the room that you took uh, when you moved in and when you moved out. As an aside, uh, due to this strange phenomenon of uh, Singapore landlords uh, refusing to return uh, the security deposit, uh, which I've uh, quite frequently seen, uh, it is important to uh, always take photos or videos of uh, the property uh, before you move in so that in the event the landlord later accuses you of uh, causing this damage, that damage, uh, this and that, you can always uh, use the photo or the video as a proof that the damage or whatever uh, was caused or, or, which, or occurred before you moved in. The more organized and comprehensive your evidence, uh, the stronger your case will be. To file your claim, uh, just visit the uh, Community Justice and Tribunal System online portal and log in with your SingPass. Fill out the claim form, uh, provide details about yourself, about, provide details about the landlord, the nature of the dispute, and upload your evidence to support your claim. And uh, pay the filing fees. Uh, the filing fees are quite cheap. Uh, they can be as low as uh, $10 up to $300 depending on the quantum, the amount of the claim. After you have made payment, you will need to choose a consultation date and time and uh, print out a copy of the claim and a notice of consultation which you then have to serve, serve on the landlord personally within seven days by personal service or registered post. If you are unable to serve the notice of consultation, you should still proceed to attend the consultation. At the consultation, the registrar uh, may direct you to uh, serve the documents to the landlord by other means, for example, by email. After serving the notice of consultation on the landlord, you must file a declaration of service on the online portal. You must also attach proof of service, such as a sync post, registered post slip, or a form signed by the landlord acknowledging that he received the notice of consultation, although it would be quite unusual for a landlord to acknowledge a court documents. A consultation at the Small Claims Tribunal is a court proceeding in which a registrar will facilitate a discussion between both parties. The aim of a consultation is to resolve the dispute without moving on to a hearing. On the day of the consultation, proceed to uh, level 3 of the state courts and take a queue number from the machine and wait in the waiting area. When your queue number is called, proceed to the registrar's chambers. During the consultation, all parties involved in the case will meet with uh, the registrar to discuss the case. It is important to remain calm and professional presenting your case clearly. Uh, the registrar will facilitate a discussion to give you uh, and the other party an opportunity to resolve your dispute. Uh, if parties reach a settlement during the consultation, the registrar may record a consent order to reflect your agreement. If parties do not reach an agreement, the registrar will give uh, further directions for the case which may include arranging for a hearing before a tribunal magistrate uh, the registrar can also uh, uh, make directions for mediation. Uh, the registrar could dismiss the claim or issue a default order against uh, your landlord. A default order means he didn't turn up, so you win the case. If the registrar arranges uh, for a hearing, 
both you and your landlord will take turns to present your case uh, and the supporting evidence uh, before the tribunal magistrate. The tribunal magistrate will direct the flow and manner of the proceedings. The tribunal magistrate may uh, ask you questions or direct you to address relevant issues. Be prepared to present and summarize your evidence. Also be prepared to answer any questions the judge may have and to uh, respond to uh, any of the landlord's arguments. The tribunal magistrate will then make a decision based on the merits of the case and according to the law. While the process may seem uh, daunting, it is designed to be as straightforward as possible. Remember, the key to success is having well-organized evidence and presenting your case clearly and calmly. On the assumption that you win the case, it doesn't mean that the landlord will automatically return your deposit, you know. Uh, the court will not issue or hand you a check. Money does not drop from the sky. If you win the case and the landlord fails to pay by the deadline, you need to take out enforcement proceedings. You can watch my earlier videos on enforcement. Uh, this essentially means uh, uh, confiscating the landlord's uh, property and belongings and uh, pasting stickers on them and auctioning them off. Enforcement proceedings could also include uh, freezing the landlord's bank account and taking the monies. It, uh, if the sum is large enough, it could also involve bankruptcy. So if you found this video helpful, please uh, click the like button, share it with others who might benefit and don't forget to subscribe for more legal tips and advice. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.